Welcome to this week's Think Agronomy. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the canola varieties that we have in trials at the moment. A wonderful break crop, profitable in its own right. It doesn't need a lot of different machinery from standard combinable crops. So it's easy to mechanise and store. There's a good ready market. Excellent for grass weed control and a beautiful break crop for any cereal rotation. Essentially at the moment we've got two options. The first is Belinda, it's what I would call a European type and when everything is with it, plenty of moisture and not too hot, Belinda does very well. It can do up to four tonne a hectare easily, but budget on maybe two, two and a half for a first time grower. If I look at some of the newer alternatives of the European types, this is a very tall clear field. So you can use clear field herbicides on, on these type of uh, canolas, but you can also means that if you're planting double cropping behind something like barley that's had Derby perhaps, or maybe Agri-Start, it's perfectly safe from a herbicide residue point of view. It's a very tall one this, but um, has done well in trials last year. As has Drago here. Nexus is a very tall and late one, fantastic yields. It was, it was um, the highest yielding in last year's trial, but you can see here in these dry conditions, it's really struggling with the moisture. Cultus was a quite an interesting one, but it's now getting quite old and it's extremely late, clear field variety. But what gets interesting is when you look at the Australian type ones, this is 50. So immediately there's a lot more pods and looks a lot happier and better adapted to warmer, uh, not droughty perhaps, that's, um, we're not in a drought. As long as you use your moisture properly, then you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be calling it a drought. But that's much better adapted to warmer and less uh, lower rainfall conditions. The ultimate is probably 350, which is a candidate variety. Short, quick, uh, really extremely tolerant, but also has a top end yield up to three and a half, four tonne a hectare. 559 is a variety that is really bulletproof. It's done very well. It's triazine resistant. So it was a good option after maize if you've used heavy doses of triazine herbicide. Still gets you up to four tonne a hectare at a stretch, but it's more of a two and a half, three and a half tonne a hectare variety if the conditions are good, but it will not let you down, extremely tough. We're looking at 650 TT here, which is a later variety. Bit of a higher yield potential over 559, but in our trials, it's not been great. And finally, I've got a one here that I've manipulated with a growth regulator, a litre of tebuconazole, 250 grams and really shortened it but it's put the crop back so much that a lot of the ancillary buds have actually aborted down here. You can see the flowers have just given up as it's got too dry. So there you are, two distinct types, European types that will give you a high end yield if you've got the moisture and the growing conditions or an Australian type, a Hyola type. But when you've got tougher conditions, less moisture in the ground and things are up against you, that's the sort of variety you'll need. So this week we heard the news that Hyola 50 has just been approved and released by Kefis after a couple of years of NPT trials, which is brilliant news, gives a bit more competition in the market. But how does it fit in? Well, this is a plot of Hyola 350 TT, which is extremely early, very well adapted to dry and hot growing conditions, but it sacrifices top end yield. On the left of it, you can see the Hyola 50, which has got a few flowers on it, is a bit taller and a bit later. And on the right is 559 TT. So it's actually very similar to 559. But bear in mind, Hyola 50 came out in 2005. So it's quite long in the tooth now. It's also, it doesn't have the triazine tolerance. So the herbicide safety as you're planting, say after big doses of uh, triazine in maize or, or whatever, but it's very well adapted to a range of growing conditions. Do not expect it to yield as well as something like Belinda would. In our trials over the years or seasons, it's been below 559. So it's a steady variety, but a useful hardy addition for those growing environments.